In this podcast episode, the host welcomes Justin Welsh, a successful solopreneur who has achieved millions of dollars in sales and inspires hundreds of thousands of people in the entrepreneurship and business world. Justin describes himself as a solopreneur, having transitioned from a thriving career in tech to running his own business based on solopreneurship. Justin's journey into solopreneurship began when he experienced burnout in his previous career and decided to work for himself, consulting and advising healthcare startups. As he built his consulting and advising business, he realized that he wanted to focus on building products that were pre-recorded and scalable rather than hiring a team and scaling in the traditional sense. This decision was driven by his desire to have more freedom and autonomy in his business, allowing him to do what he loves and avoid the aspects of business that he dislikes. Justin and Zuby discuss the concept of solopreneurship and the mindset required to succeed as a solopreneur. They emphasize the importance of self-confidence and humility, as well as the ability to pivot and reinvent oneself. Justin shares that he often writes about his observations and feelings as a way to remind himself of what's important and to document his journey. He also acknowledges that he has a five-year shelf life in terms of creatively itching to talk about different things and reinvent himself, but he is open to the challenge of maintaining trust and connection with his audience through reinvention. Both Justin and Zuby highlight the importance of supporting others and embracing their success. They discuss the idea that successful people play a different game when it comes to support, and they emphasize the value of celebrating and encouraging the success of others. Justin shares that he genuinely wants everyone to win and that he finds joy in seeing others succeed. He believes that being happy for others' success is an easy cheat code that many people overlook, and he encourages a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. The conversation also touches on the power of connection and authenticity in building a successful business. They discuss the importance of building trust and genuine connections with an audience, as well as the impact of being authentic and true to oneself. They also highlight the difference between traditional celebrity and the type of connection and trust that can be built as a solopreneur, allowing for more freedom and longevity in one's career. Justin discusses the impact of surrounding oneself with successful and inspiring individuals, as well as the importance of finding joy in other people's success. He shares that he wants to encourage others to start and keep going, and he sees his social media content as a way to inspire himself and his audience to take action and pursue their goals. Justin advises that the first step in starting a business is to identify a skill that one possesses. This could be something that the individual has learned through experience, is passionate about, or has expertise in. Once the skill is identified, the next step is to tidy up social media profiles. This involves updating profile pictures, banner images, and pinning relevant tweets or posts. By presenting a clear and professional image on social media, individuals can begin to establish their personal brand and attract potential customers or clients. After tidying up social media profiles, Justin recommends spending 90 days creating content. This content should focus on sharing observations, opinions, and tactical step-by-step -step advice related to the identified skill. By consistently producing valuable content, individuals can begin to build a following and establish themselves as an authority in their field. Additionally, Justin emphasizes the importance of networking with others in the industry. Building relationships with like-minded individuals and potential customers can provide valuable insights and opportunities for collaboration. As individuals engage with their audience and receive feedback, they can begin to refine their unique value proposition. This involves understanding the challenges and needs of their target audience and crafting a clear and compelling message that communicates the value they offer. Furthermore, Justin suggests creating a lead magnet, such as an ebook, video series, or email course that addresses a specific problem or provides valuable information related to the identified skill. By offering this lead magnet, individuals can attract potential customers and gather feedback on their offerings. Once individuals have refined their unique value proposition and created a lead magnet, 
they can begin to offer a service based on the feedback and insights gathered from their audience. This service should directly address the challenges and needs of their target market, providing a solution that adds value and meets their specific requirements. By engaging with potential customers and understanding their pain points, individuals can tailor their offerings to better serve their audience. Throughout the process of building a business, Justin emphasizes the importance of enjoying the journey and being kind to others. He encourages individuals to maintain a positive and optimistic mindset, even in the face of challenges or setbacks. Additionally, he highlights the value of being kind, respectful, and professional when interacting with others, whether they are potential customers, collaborators, or industry peers. By approaching business with a positive attitude and treating others with kindness, individuals can build strong relationships and create a positive reputation within their industry.